Hey up everyone, it's Farmers Rob and Dave here from Cannon Hall Farm. Now, today is a really, really special day. We're taking Hercules off to a good friend of ours who is a professional producer. He's going to take him through to his stallion examination. We're really hoping, and we're keeping everything crossed, that he passes that examination and becomes a breeding stallion of the future. It's really important. Now, he is an expert horseman. He can teach uh, shires to pull carts, uh, he uses them on film sets sometimes as well. If he manages to become a stallion, he can then go into the show ring again, hopefully prove that he's the best around and get a big stud book of mares waiting for his services next year. That would be a real dream come true. The future's quite bright for him. If he does pass the exam, who knows? He could even go worldwide. You know, in America, they're big on Shire horses. They're always looking for a new bloodline. You know, he might end up there. Today, Barnsley and York, tomorrow, the United States. Who knows? We're not going too far today. We're just going up the road to York. It's only ooh, half an hour, 40 minutes drive. And let's get him settled down and it'll be a home from home. What, we're driving a Ferrari? <laughs> it's a good hour. <laughs> Depends who's driving. Right, let's get going. Thirteen, 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 thirteen. Good boy, go on, lad. Steady. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good lad, steady. Good boy. This isn't the end, it's the end of the beginning. There's a bright future for Hercules. We're excited to look forward to it. I can picture him now next year in the show ring looking absolutely majestic. And I'm just hoping and praying he passes that stallion examination. He's going to be a belter. It's like your child's birthday. Yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking to see him leave the farm, but he's going to Harry and Bill, who've got loads of expertise. They've got free draining land. They've got all the knowledge needed to take him to his Shire horse uh, examination. We've been here lots of times. We've taken some of our best mares here for serving. Bill's always had good stallions, hasn't he? He's quite a feather in our cap that Harry and Bill are so keen to have Hercules here. Well, we haven't got facilities for a stallion. It's something that we've, we've never really caught with before. So I'm pleased we're, we're taking him to someone who knows exactly what to do with him. Hi up, Harry. Hi up, nice to see you. Yeah, you too, how are you doing? I'm really good, you? good. Yeah, grand, thank yeah. you. Good, good, good. Road we've, busy? Yeah, yeah, we, we've had a good journey here good. and Hercules has travelled like a dream so Brilliant. we're quite keen for you to see what you think to it. Yeah, good, can't wait to see <laughs> Yeah, I mean you liked him at Peniston show, didn't you? Yes, I, I, I saw him and I thought he put a good show on. Yeah, that's why I said uh, we could help you with him. You wouldn't just take any old horse here, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it has to go through the inspection. We have to make sure it's good enough to go through otherwise there's no point taking it. Mm. I'm sure he's got what it takes. Good. Well, that's well, music to our ears, Harry. I'd like to see him again, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's get him off the train. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Good lad. Good boy. There he is. Good lad. I'm afraid he's had a roll in the mud this morning. Yeah, no, it's all right, though. Let him have a look around. Look at that. He's wondering where he's come, isn't he? Look at that. Looking at him, he's going to easily get the 18 hands mark, which is what... Is that the, where you need to the, be? the magic number, is it? 18 hands. Right. And it looks like that's where he's going to go. So, so, so what's involved then in getting him ready for the examination then, Harry? Well, we have to make sure he's well handled enough to be inspected by a panel of inspectors. Right. Um, they need to be able to go around him, and as you can see, he's, he's quite colty. He's feeling his feet, is it? Yeah. So we need to... Make sure the vet can pick his feet up because he needs to do flexion tests. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he can walk around in circles really effectively. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the vet needs to be able to pick his feet up to do flexion tests. He needs to be lunging. All right. They'll check his wind and his heart. Yeah. Um, and then it's, they'll, they'll feel his testicles, make sure they're a good size. Yeah. I'll check his eye, his mouth, his teeth. 
Well, we're hoping very much he gets to keep his testicles. That will be uh, a sign that he's passed the test. Confirmation-wise, he'll be fine. Yeah. It's whether he passes the vet, which, looking at him, I can't see a reason why he won't, but you never know what they're going to find. Yeah, yeah. well, fingers crossed he'll, uh, he'll do well. So whereabouts is he going to live while he's here? Um, he's going to live in a box on his own, so he can't see any females, because um, otherwise he'll... They want yeah, to get a bit, to a bit of an handful. Yeah, <laughs> so that would be a real distraction for him. Um, yeah, he, he's very mature for his age, personality-wise. Right. Uh, we have, we have a yearling colt who's he won't be as mature as this. Right. I, I wouldn't turn this this colt with a a female at the minute. No. Looking at him. No. Whereas our, our other is a turned out. You see. Right. So he'll be separated. Yeah. I, I think he was born maybe in the May of last year. Yeah. Well, he's he's so well he's, grown. Yeah. He's he's a year and. Five months, maybe. Yeah, he's like definitely that. well grown. Yeah. No, I think you'll be all right. Right, should we get him settled in now then? Yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll follow you, Eric. <laughs> so, what's the next step for Hercules then, Eric? Uh, well, first of all, we'll we'll let him settle in. And then um, we'll just uh, handle him steadily away. And then about a month before he needs to go, that's when we'll probably start working on him, get him uh, lunging, etc. Um, and then get him used to his feet being picked up. Well, he's had all that kind of training. Yeah. Philip's lunged him before. Yeah. Uh, every day he goes out into a paddock. We take this off yeah. and we put it on at night and we bring yeah. him back in. So yeah. he's he's quite well you know, behaved. He's got a good head start then. And he's been yeah. shown as well. So he yeah. knows that procedure, so uh, <laughs> fingers, fingers crossed he won't take a lot of work, um, but you just have no idea. I feel happy that we've, we've given him a real good start, but I yeah. think it's now time for someone with that expertise, hopefully, just to, to finish it. This is finishing school for him, isn't it, now? Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt you've, you've done a good job in doing what you've done with him. But, you know, if he was coming here completely untouched, it would make our job yeah. difficult. Yeah. So, so you've well, done think, a good job. I think he wants to make it. <laughs> well, I think you know you've got him, Harry. Yeah, I think we will, yeah. Well, look after him and we'll, we'll be back in the new year and hopefully uh, he'll be a new horse. Fingers yeah. crossed, yeah. Well, he's in the best of hands with you and thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. Right. And we'll see you again soon. See you later, guys. See you. Ta -ra. Ta -ra.